like Van Gogh, Monet, even Dr. Seuss. Of course, were not recognized for their work until later in life. Now a program in Orlando is trying to help bring out the hidden talents and patients as they wait for treatment. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor shows us how art may be their best medicine. You take the water and you just drop the paint there and you allow the paint to do its thing. 25-year-old Deondrick Danny is giving us a lesson in watercolor, something he says he never would have been able to teach just one year ago. I didn't think I was the most creative person at all. I actually thought, what am I going to paint? I don't draw. I'm not good at drawing. I don't have the eye. But the brush and canvas practically fell into his lap the day he met Valerie Kelly in a waiting room. All of these patients um, made up the face of cancer. As the resident artist at the UF Cancer Center in Orlando, Kelly teaches 12 forms of art to patients and caregivers during treatment. What we love to do for them is to give them a fine art lesson. We're not just giving them art supplies. We're giving them an opportunity to really make something really amazing. Acrylic, clay, photography, even radiotherapy molds, all patient artwork hanging in the City Arts Factory Gallery in downtown Orlando. It's so amazing that people will actually say, very commonly, I never thought that I would enjoy coming to chemotherapy. It's not something that you expect to hear. But Deondrick says it's easy to see why. I don't want to get emotional right now, okay. It's okay. She has been a great light for me in a dark, what could be a dark place. I was able to release a lot of emotions off onto that painting. It was like I was painting every negative emotion. And they start to think of themselves as an artist, not as a patient. It's really saving your life in a different way. It's bringing more meaning to it. Deondrick tells us the arts and medicine program is helping him fight his illness with hope, encouragement, and now showcasing his art in his first gallery, he's even reconsidering his career path. And just talking about Valerie nearly brings him to tears. She has given me something that I will forever be grateful for. She is just, she's been a great person. Right now, the program is getting results for 500 patients with Orlando Health, but their goal is to help more than 2,600. So if you'd like to support them, the gallery is open until April 14th. Getting results for your health, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.